At some point in our lives, we've all gotten lost when we're behind the wheel. And if we're honest, at times we've lost our way spiritually too. The good news is that God is our best GPS because He gets us back on track. I remember driving to a remote area for an important meeting last year. My GPS indicated the hotel was minutes away. I ended up in the middle of farmland with no hotel in sight. Our walk with God can be like this. If we're not paying attention to His directions, we can lose our way. This week's memorization verses show us how Jesus, the Good Shepherd, guides His sheep. John 10, 27 My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Jesus knows how to communicate with us in a language we understand. My sheep hear my voice. Say it with me. My sheep hear my voice. When sheep hear their shepherd's voice, they recognize he's the one who cares for them. And I know them, and they follow me. Jesus knows us better than we know ourselves. We find our purpose when we follow him. Say it with me. And I know them, and they follow me. Good. Let's say the entire verse now. John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. When God spoke to Abraham, he was lost and desperate. He was a 75-year-old man with a heavy heart because he had never had children. Back then, if you were childless, you were considered cursed. Abraham worshipped idols. He likely prayed to his false gods for a child, but his pleas went unanswered. God had compassion on Abraham and made him an astounding promise. In Genesis 12, God basically says, Leave everything and everyone you know. Go to a new place that I will show you. I will bless you there and give you more children than you could ever imagine. You will become a great nation. Abraham had no way to confirm that he'd heard from God. He just knew in his heart that this was not one of his false idols speaking to him. This was the true God. So he obeyed, and God kept his promise. Abraham's legacy became one filled with generations. Some 1,400 years later, God speaks to Abraham's descendants. They had gotten lost, too. Through the prophet Isaiah, God says, Isaiah 42, 16, I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. These are God's reassuring words for us today as well. Let's learn them phrase by phrase. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Once more, I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. People who are blind have many tools they use to live independent lives. They rely on canes, seeing eye dogs. They count steps to locations, listen for audible prompts to cross at streetlights. Blind people also have remarkable hearing abilities. Even with all that, learning a new route can be a challenge. When this verse refers to leading the blind, it's talking about those who are physically or spiritually blind. So that's all of us. Our sight is limited. We make mistakes. We get off track. Let's continue learning. The next phrase. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. Again, along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. Good. God is saying to all of us, if we've made a wrong turn and don't know our way back, don't worry. He will guide us into his presence. I will turn the darkness into light before them. Now with me. I will turn the darkness into light before them. No matter how dark our circumstances appear, God promises to light the way home. Let's continue. And make the rough places smooth. One more time. And make the rough places smooth. He will redirect us, making that difficult time easier. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. Say again. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. God is calling you back to him today, giving you hope and reassurance that he's there for you. Thanks for your love, God. 
Watch over us today. Keep us from straying. Correct us when we need to return to your path. Give us ears to hear as you lead us with your loving voice. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, go with God. Let Him be your spiritual GPS as you learn Scripture by heart. Thank you.